Well, hello, my eerie dearies. I see you've returned. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing video. I have ordered some fairy wings from an Etsy shop called Hello Fairy. I'm going to link her Etsy shop down below. And as you all know, I love the color pink. And so I ordered these with a pink frame. So that's something new for me. And right now, <laughs> I, this really wasn't planned, but I decided to wear this pink dress today. And yeah, and I normally would have my hair pink too, but rain fair season for the fall is about to start. And my hair is really damaged because I always bleach my hair and I dye my hair myself. So I'm giving it a rest until then, but you are going to see me with pink hair soon. And I do have wigs, so I do play with those. But, and open the box, I want to give a little bit of a backstory here, which is a little negative, and I really don't like to be negative. But, when I order stuff, like I know the wings that I order are made to order. They're not ready to ship. So I always look at the time frames and everything, and, I take stuff under consideration, so I, I don't just go buy wings because I ain't got I ain't got that kind of money to just buy. So I always always look into stuff and I always hesitate. Well, when I saw these wings here, I saw them and I had some money due to unfortunate events, but I had some money and I just I really liked everything about them, so I just went ahead and ordered them. But I did I did go over the stuff like how long it would take and all that. All that hoorah so on the website it said um, you'll get your wings in two to three weeks or allow two to three weeks for the wings to arrive well like like I said I know they are made to order so it's not like she had already made these and then she's going to ship them out oh, and I apologize if you hear me pulling my nose up or grabbing for tissue um, I'm recovering from a slight cold, which is really bugging me because I had two weeks ago I was getting over a cold sore that just popped up and then I got a cold and now I got a cold sore again. Like as soon as I started feeling a little bit better from the cold, I got a cold sore. And last week I bought, I went to Sephora, it's just it was a random day, I went to Sephora and I saw they had this Ciante Glitter Flip lipsticks. And I wanted to buy it, I wanted to go ahead and buy one online, but the color I wanted wasn't available. So I was like, ugh, just wait. And then I saw that Sephora had them, and there was like only two lipsticks left. There was the Hollywood and the purple one. I can't remember what that one was called. But I went ahead and I bought the purple one because I do love purple lipsticks, so it wasn't like a it wasn't going to be like anything that I wouldn't wear so I just went ahead and I bought that well since I was sick I didn't want to record a video because I had you know I was coughing and everything so I just waited on that I decided spontaneous to go ahead and purchase these and it said the weeks will take two to two to three weeks for you to get there and I didn't see anything about you know it's like oh we're in the Halloween season so you know, add an additional week or two to that. I didn't see any of that. So, I ordered these August 5th. And so I'm looking at my calendar and like, okay, so the next Monday would be, you know, this beginning of the first week. So, I, I went ahead and I figured in three weeks. And so on the 26th, on the 26th, I sent um, the, the seller a message. I'm like, so hey, I should be expecting the wings next week, right? And then the next day, I got a response back from her, and she said, yeah, I will be shipping them out tomorrow or Tuesday. It's like, okay, now yeah, that'll be great. And, you know, if she ships them out Monday, I should have them by Friday. Like, I I work for FedEx, so I'm, I'm yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. So... I was expecting the wings to arrive, you know, Thursday, Friday. -ish. I kept, 
I, I was on the lookout for them and they didn't arrive. And I was like, okay, well maybe they'll come Saturday. Saturday didn't arrive and I knew Monday they wasn't going to come because Monday was Labor, um, Labor Day weekend. They got shipped out September 6th and I was expecting them the week before and had locally we had a comic convention and I wanted to go and I was like I got I almost got a new fairy outfit together that just happened randomly and so I was going to wear these wings with it and go even though I saw I was kind of bummed out that they didn't arrive you know that Friday for that weekend but I was like okay you know so I sent her Tuesday after Labor Day I sent her another email I'm like so hey is there a tracking number because I haven't received the wings yet you know so I just I just wanted to check to see like you know did they somewhere did they get lost you know or did the driver say hey I dropped them off at the neighbors you know or you know was there some kind of delay somewhere so I just wanted to check on them well I didn't get a response back I got the next day I got an email that said they got shipped September 6th so that was a week after I was told that they will get shipped so that kind of that kind of bothered me then I checked the tracking and it's, it was one of those little simple trackings that had, you know, it, it, it got, they accepted it, it's halfway on its way and it got delivered. Well, I checked Friday morning at work and it wasn't even at the halfway mark so I'm like, ugh, okay, so I'm not going to get these wings until next week, maybe Wednesday, okay? so. Friday, I was hanging out with my dad, I did a little bit of shopping, and I came home about 9 o'clock. And um, there's a stray cat in our neighborhood who just had kittens. And so I, I came home the other day and they were all in my driveway. So when I, when I came home Friday night, I had my high beams on to make sure that there wasn't no, you know, small kitten running out and I would, you know, run it over. So I really don't want to do that. So. I had my high beams on and so I, I pulled into my carport and I didn't run over no kitty. I got all my stuff out. Well, the next morning I was supposed to go to a table versus little meeting that one of my co-workers had which was actually really fun by the way. So um, I, I get in my car and I, I pull out and all of a sudden I see something weird laying in my driveway. Or the carport, whichever you want. Yeah, it was yeah, the carport. And I was like, what is that? So I stopped my car and I got out, and it was my wings, and it had tire marks on it. <sighs> so that really, ooh, I don't know if the courier just kind of drew it in the carport or if he leaned it against the house which I'm hoping that they would lean it against the house and then the wind just knocked it over and since it being such a tan like color that when I pulled into the driveway I didn't see it because I mean I came on my driveway for the kitten and I did not see these and of course in my mind I wasn't expecting them because like I, I checked that morning and they weren't like it looked like they just left Kansas I think that's where they were coming from 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 the origin so I wasn't expecting a package to look out for until the next week so you know, I was looking at what was in front of me because of the kittens normally when I get packages like these they always stick it between the front door <laughs> I was like, my camera lens cover just fell off. That was like, oh, that, that was weird. Anyway, normally these small packages, they always stick between the front door and the storm door. So that when you open it, you know, this comes falling against you. And that's what I was expecting. And that wasn't the case. So, if these wings are damaged because I run over them, I am going to be so mad. Anyway, open them. They are packaged really good though. So, and since they are pretty flat, I'm just hoping that that 
that that didn't do anything. But I, I can I can I can just see it. I can see it in my mind that the one part where they are bended for the U braces, that's where my car ran over. <laughs> so negative. But we shall see in just a minute. forgot to mention this but oh oh they're so gorgeous ah! okay she did really nice she did really nice she did a really nice job with this you can definitely see that it is hand cut like it's not as smooth I I do I do own some fancy fairy wings I have the medium set they were a gift from Jeremy so I'm just I actually really like how it is a little you know what's the word I'm looking for rugged I don't know it's it's not a clean cut but I do kind of like it and I like how like I don't really know how she got the lamination down oh I need a big lamination one there's a little and it's right here, but that's just normal. I mean, oh my god, they're gorgeous. Let's see, I think she got a little business card here. Yeah, she did send a business card with a little, little tiny bottle of fairy glitter. So let's just zoom in. Oh, actually, actually, okay, you guys, I wanted to show you my very first set of wings. I've made these back in 07, something like that. So they are 10 years old. Come on. I'm trying to get. All right. So these here are my first wings. Um, I made them and I think I followed the tutorial that Emily Autumn had with HGTV, the Home and Garden channel. And yeah, this is this is about the size. I can make them just a little bit bigger, but for some odd reason I cannot make big wings. Now I love small wings, so don't get me wrong. I love these and I still wear them so often. I wore them today. And they remind me, I was using like Barbie colors and stuff. So this is the back. I added these. At first I had straps, which I really don't like. And then I added these here. And then I've also made a little U shape that 
I don't always wear because these these are more if I need to wear fairy wings for an event and I'm like the only person there that's going to be a fairy, um, these are the only ones I can drive in. And I just, I personally, I don't like the idea of going somewhere, like being dressed as a fairy and then stopping somebody and be like, hey, can you help me get my clothes on? You know, I, I just want to be like that. No, these are my wings. They are a part of me. So these wings I can just throw on and they're just kind of small wings and they're kind of pixie-ish. But these are mine and I love them very dearly. So these is her card and she included a little thing of glitter. So this is very cute. Added bonus. And here are the wings. So as you can see, let me find a good spot here, like here, you know, you can see where she hand cut them, which is really awesome. And I don't even know how she has the patience for that. Let's see if I can get in these myself. Oh. got wings in the size I freaking need them oh my god okay and I know you guys can't see yeah the pulling the thing the U brace I'm sorry the U brace pulling it all the way down I can, I can feel it right here that's about where my waist is so that's good happy with these <laughs> I'm sorry I'm, I'm looking at them in, on the screen and in the mirror okay so one thing you might maybe not know about me I portray the fairy queen of the texture Canada Renaissance Fair and it's not it's not a title that I gave myself because I really I did not want to be queen but I kind of wanted to, since I am the main fairy of the Texarkana Renaissance Fair and I've been one of the members that's been with the fair since day one, before anybody else could come and be like, oh, well, I am going to be this. I got with a few people and I said, hey, you know, I really would like a title. Now, yesterday, I went to Spirit Halloween store and... <gasps> I found this here. I, I saw this on the merchandise list and I was like, I, I have to have this because I love cats and I love Hocus Pocus and I just, you know. So I bought that and then this one I did not see and apparently Spirit Halloween is getting a whole bunch of more stuff and I've picked up this here too. It says, I don't know if you can see it here. It says, things to do before sunrise. One, find the book. Two, brew the potion. Three, become young and beautiful again. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching this. I'm so excited about these wings. Um, Hello Fairy did an amazing job on these. I will probably buy from her again because <sighs> Well, you know, a fairy just can't have enough wings, you know, I mean, you know, you know, <laughs> you know, people ask me, it's like, well, if you're a fairy, how can you have different wings? Well, you know, it's because I use fairy 
little hammer. I just sprinkle that and I change my appearance. You know, I have blonde hair now. Next time you see me, I might have purple hair. I might have orange hair. I might have longer hair. I might have shorter hair. I might have big wings. I might have small wings. It's very glamour. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and if you want some fairy wings, she has um, an amazing assortment of ready to ship wings. She has all sorts of price ranges. Like if you want some small wings that are like meant for children, but you just want them for yourself, I think she has like $20, $30 wings that actually look really cute. So go check her out, support her. Everything is handmade. And yeah, like I am super, oh, in case you wanted to know, these here were these were 180 and then with shipping, which <laughs> luckily everything went okay, they were 205 which I know is a lot of money and I normally, I don't splurge $200 just like that, but like I said, I, I, I did get some money um, and I love, I love dressing up as a fairy and going to renaissance fair, so it is a bit of a hobby, a bit of a passion, so I look into, when it comes to fairy stuff, I look into it as an investment, you know, I spent this money on this and I will be taking care of this, so I will be using it down the road. So if you want to do the same, and also, <laughs> I know I'm putting so much information in here, but one thing that I've noticed with I don't want to say younger people, but people that are new to rent fair, because I have I have a bunch of people that are starting with rent fairs, and everybody thinks like you see all these people in beautiful costumes, and you think that you're supposed to look like that at your first fair, or you're supposed to look like that at your second fair, and that is just not true. If you ask anybody, if you ask an entertainer, or if you're somebody that just goes to fairs religiously, ask them. They did not have a full costume by their second time. Like they add stuff little by little. Yes, after a while they probably will put, you know, $500 into one costume, but it's not gonna be their second fair, you know? So just remember, like you do not have to have $200 wings for your first rent fair or for your second fair. You can make your own wings that are just, I don't even know how much they cost me, like maybe five bucks. It just, it takes a little time and, you know, practice. And I'll probably, down the line, I'll make a video showing how I made those or, you know, there's, there's plenty of fairy wing tutorials on there, so yeah. But I just wanted to show that and I want to share these and these are so beautiful! I can't wait to wear them! Alright, love you guys and see you soon. Toodles!